In this video, I will show you how to install Raspberry Pi operating system on your Raspberry Pi board when you already have an external monitor and an HDMI cable. I will guide you through all the steps one by one, showing you the exact configuration you need to do. So first of all, you can go on a web browser and just type Raspberry Pi Imager on Google. Okay, and go to the first link on raspberrypi.com. Okay, we are going to download the Raspberry Pi Imager, which is going to allow us to flash the Raspberry Pi OS on an SD card. Okay, so you are gonna get to uh, something like this, and then you can see install Raspberry Pi OS using Raspberry Pi Imager. And you have download for Windows, Mac OS, and uh, Ubuntu here. So just choose whatever operating system you are currently using. So for me, I'm using Windows. I click on Windows and I'm gonna save the executable here. So save. Okay, and once it is downloaded here, you can just click on it to install it. Okay, you may have a pop-up, so you uh, press yes to allow to install. And then, well, you just install the Raspberry Pi Imager and you click on Next. Okay, and finish and you run the Raspberry Pi Imager. So if it's closed, you can also go here directly, type to search Raspberry Pi Imager and you're gonna find it here. Just run it, you click on Yes if you have a pop-up and you run it like this. So now is the time to put your SD card, so the micro SD card on your computer. So make sure that you have a micro SD card that is at least class 10 and with minimum eight gigabytes for the disk space. Okay, so I insert the SD card. Okay, if you have stuff like that, you just cancel. Okay, you just close everything. You don't format anything. And then on the Raspberry Pi Imager, you can click on choose OS and you're gonna choose the first one. Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, just choose the first one. You have many different OSs, but choose the Raspberry Pi OS, the standard one. And then on storage, you click on choose storage and you should see your SD card here. So you click on your SD card and before you click on write, actually, what you can do is you can already configure Wi-Fi for your uh, Raspberry Pi operating system. You can do Control, Shift and X Okay, so that's not something you can click on. You just do Control, Shift and X and you have the advanced options. Okay, so you can see you can enable SSH, configure Wi-Fi, local settings, etc. We are going to do configure Wi-Fi here and actually select the Wi-Fi, so the SSID and the password you want the Raspberry Pi to connect to. So this Wi-Fi network is the one you are actually using, okay, at home or at work. So just put your Wi-Fi network here and then your password here. And this is going to work like that for me because I have just set my phone as a hotspot with this SSID and this password, but just put uh, the one that corresponds, of course, to your Wi-Fi network. So you click on save and then you can click on write. Okay, you can see that everything is gonna be erased on the SD card. So make sure that you don't have an SD card with the photos of your holidays because that's gonna be erased. Click on yes. And then you can wait. So it's gonna first download the Raspberry Pi uh, operating system image, and then it's going to write on the SD card. And note that if you already have downloaded the Raspberry Pi image through the Raspberry Pi imager, it's not gonna download it again. It's gonna use it from cache. So it's gonna be faster the second time. Well, if you have anything like that, you just click on cancel and then you can wait. Okay, and once the image has been flashed, you will see stuff like that. So you don't click on formats, you just cancel. Okay, you just cancel and close any window. Okay, that's very important. Don't click on format. And you can see Raspberry Pi OS has been written to the SD card. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. So you click on continue and you can remove the SD card from your computer. Now to continue the installation, first make sure that the Raspberry Pi is not powered on. Okay, you should not have anything plugged on your Raspberry Pi. 
What you can do now is you can put the micro SD card inside the Raspberry Pi on the slot, okay, on the back, then connect your Raspberry Pi to your external monitor using an HDMI cable. And maybe for that, you will need a micro HDMI adapter, okay, depending on which Raspberry Pi board you have. Now, double check that the SD card is correctly inserted and you can power on the Raspberry Pi. Don't power from your laptop, okay? This won't be able to give enough current to the Raspberry Pi. Use a dedicated Pi charger or even a phone charger with at least 5 volt and 2 amps, which you can easily check on the charger. And you should see something like this on your external monitor. So you should see the desktop and then welcome to Raspberry Pi, okay? A pop-up like this, so you can finish the installation. If everything worked well, you should see here, uh, you can click on the Wi-Fi icon and see that you are already connected to the Wi-Fi. So now let's finish this installation. So you click on Next. And then you can choose, well, your country, language, time zone. So I'm going to do France, okay, with a uh, French keyboard, but I'm still going to use the English language for that. So next. So now they will ask you to change your password because as you can see, the default Pi user has the password Raspberry Pi. This is the default password for the Pi user. So anyone that can access to uh, basically your Raspberry Pi can already know that the password is Raspberry. So you want to change this, okay? So I'm going to put another password. So put a strong password if you can. So you enter the password, you confirm the password and click on next. And so now don't forget to use this new password and not the Raspberry password. So here, well, basically, if you see a black border at the edges here, uh, you can uh, click on this. But as you can see, I don't have a black border, so I'm not going to click. Depends on what you see on your screen. Click on next. And here you can see we are already connected. So just click on next. If you are not already connected, you just click and you provide the SSID and the password. Then you have a step that is going to update the software because you have a brand new installation, but some of the software may not be up to date. So you click on next. It's going to check for updates. So update the list of packages. And then it's going to download the new updates for the packages that already exist and install them. So this can take some time, depending mostly, of course, on your internet connection speed. After a few minutes, you will see system is up to date. So you click on OK. And then, well, congratulations, because your Raspberry Pi operating system is successfully installed. Now I recommend that you click on Restart, OK, so you can restart the Raspberry Pi because of all the changes in the settings you have just done. And then, well, welcome to the world of Raspberry Pi. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.